Solar panels are made of solar cells, which are built around a silicon wafer to harvest light. Silicon is the most expensive component in the assembly. Scientists have been trying to make solar cells cheaper by using thinner pieces of silicon. The cells work well, but the thin wafers are fragile. Many break during manufacturing, keeping costs up. Yasser Abdul Rahim of Kuwait University is leading a collaboration with Belgium's IMAC and several industry partners. They are developing next-gen solar technology. Wafers are cut from a large silicon crystal, which is what is so expensive to make. Scientists in the collaboration are able to peel off thin wafers by working on one side first to protect it during processing, and then supporting the wafer with a glass plate while working on the other side. The remaining crystal is ready for more wafers to be made from it. Their goal is to make thinner, cheaper cells that perform as well as conventional solar cells. But silicon remains expensive, and manufacturing it consumes a lot of electricity. Since 2009, material scientists have focused on another, cheaper crystal, Mappy perovskite, to harvest light. Abdul Rahim's consortium is refining how this revolutionary but unstable new material is used in solar cells. At first, a few days outside wore out the Mappy perovskite in solar cells, but the team's newer designs last for weeks. And by combining both materials, they increase the light harvesting ability of a solar cell. Others in the consortium are tackling challenges that come up outside the lab. With this multi-pronged approach, Abdul Rahim's team is continually refining solar technology to make it work better for all of us.